So this is going to be a quick booty workout. So we start out with a compound movement and then we also have some accessory work to do as well. So we are going to go straight into the workout with our first exercise that is our compound exercise, a squat. For every booty day, I do start out with squats or I include squats into the routine. It's just an amazing compound movement that's really good for your glutes and your legs all over. You do want to make sure that you do have a wide stance and that your toes are pointed slightly outwards. And then you want to come back as in you're sitting into a chair. And when you push up, you really want to push up from your heels and then you also want to make sure that you're putting pressure on the outsides of your feet. And this will just help to really isolate your hamstrings and your glutes rather than your quads. And then as you come up at the very top, you wanna to do almost a hip thrust movement. So you wanna really squeeze that booty just to make sure that you're contracting it and getting that isolation in your glutes. Then we are going to move into some single leg deadlifts, but these are on the hack squat. So I'm doing basically a reverse hack squat, but then I'm going onto one leg and then I'm going ahead and doing a single leg deadlift. You want your foot that's planted on the ground not to be quite in the middle of the platform, but just a little bit to the left. And then what you want to do is you just want to bend backwards and you want to push your other leg backwards. You do want to make sure that your back is straight and you do want to bend that knee just a little bit. I really do enjoy these just because I can do quite a heavy load with each leg on these so this is just a great alternative. Now we move in to a Bulgarian split squat. So I do use plates on each side, it's just easier than dumbbells, that is my personal preference. So what you wanna do is you want to rest one foot on a bench. Now I do it so that my knee is just a little bit more than 90 degrees. If it's just 90 degrees for me, I feel it in my quad, so I feel like the wider stance and leaning a tiny bit forward really helps me to isolate my glutes rather than my quads. And last exercise is going to be some cable assisted pistol squats. These are great if you can't quite do a full pistol squat on your own. So what I do is I put enough weight on the cables that I still have to work to come up. And then I will step back and then my feet will be slightly in front of me. Then I will slowly lower myself on one leg and then slowly bring myself up. Now, what you wanna make sure is that when you are going down into the squat, you wanna make sure that your hips, your knee, and your ankle are all in line. So just think about pushing your hips or your knees outwards. You don't want it caving in throughout the movement. You want them to be all in a straight line. And that is it for the workout. It is a short one, but it is quite challenging. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to show some support. Thank you all so much and I will see you in the next video.